I got a favor to ask of you. What's the, what's the favor? The, the love-hate relationship with the Humvee. I need you to drive it out to the range in the morning. Okay, just... just take it out to the range and shoot it with a 240 Bravo. Oh, so we're like a standard Saturday for us, essentially? <laughs> Typical Saturday, you know? Just hanging Wait, out. Wait, why, why am I shooting the Humvee? With well... The... Okay, I don't even questions because I'll do it. I love it. Yeah, all right. But then you're going to have to drive it back. Oh, uh, with bullet holes in it? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm in. I'm, I'm cool with that. How right. far is the range? Oh, yeah. It's a drive. It's an hour and a half. The Breakdown is where I take your favorite parts of movies and video games and show them to you in real life. This episode, Sicario, Day of the Soldado. Available now for download and on-demand, Sicario Day of the Soldado stars Benicio Del Toro, Josh Brolin, and is the much-anticipated follow-up to one of my all-time favorite movies. The president's adding drug cartels to the list of terrorist organizations. You can understand how that will expand our ability to combat them. You want to see this thing through? I'm going to have to get dirty. Dirty is exactly why you're here. You're going to help us start a war. With who? Everyone. This movie is action-packed, and there's arguably a ton of scenes I'd love to pull from to do a breakdown on, but there's one that really stands out for me. It's the convoy scene where the 240 unloads on the Humvee almost point blank. The FN M240B is a belt-fed machine gun that fires a 7.62 by 51 millimeter round at around 550 to 650 rounds per minute. There are many different levels of ballistic glass that will hold up to various different calibers and rates of fire. Today, I'm removing the windshield and installing a standard 3.8 ballistic panel. But I'm not going to stop there. I've also brought out a bulletproof glass panel from an up-armored APC. The folks over at Sony were kind enough to help make this test possible, so hopefully sustained fire on bulletproof glass won't do too much damage to the Humvee. There's way too much fun to be had today to test this out by myself, so I invited Matt Bess out to the range to flip the switch on the Humvee first. I perfectly reserved Richard's full map. You but preserved I still, it. Still didn't mess yeah. it up. Yeah, there's a little bit of little bit of frag on the uh, uh, from the jacket on the steering wheel. Yeah, there's a lot on the steering wheel. <laughs> you go to, you go to grip the steering wheel, and it's just like all copper jacket. You, you can see where the lead right here just came. Sprinkled shrapnel all in here. Nice. But. I tell you what, I got um, I've got one of the APC ballistic glass things that I'll hit and you know, just finish it out with that. Why not, right? Let's do it. Here's the thing, 
The more you secure something like this, like if it was in, this came from an APC, the, uh, the more it would do damage to this since it's floating around and everything. There's not gonna be as much kinetic energy pushing in through this, but still, looks like it took a few, a few shots there. But if you look at the back side here, that's still intact. It's not even cracked all the way back here. So depending on the level ballistic glass that you get, you could definitely stop a 30 cal round for several impacts. If you look inside there, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is uh, six layers of what was on the, the windshield of the Humvee. So this got through, it's got through the two layers there. It's pretty cool. Nonetheless, right? <laughs> Big special thanks to Sicario Day of the Sold Auto for helping make this video possible. It's available on digital now and the link is in the description below. I really love doing these breakdown videos, so if there's a movie or a video game you wanna see me do one on, let me know in the comments below. I'll see y'all next time.